The COVID-19 pandemic has changed our lives and how we do our work. Responding to the pandemic, but also looking to the future, the ability to work remotely and to perform one's tasks without compromising quality has become more important than ever. The Nikon CIE imaging system fills this need. The CIE features a motorized XYZ stage, motorized intelligent nose piece and condenser, and a high resolution camera. The hardware is paired with Nikon Elements D, an intuitive yet powerful software package. Using widely accepted conferencing software, such as Teams, Zoom, or WebEx, the microscopist can scan microscope slides in real time, capturing images as they go. Let's have a look. Let's say a pathologist wishes to view a slide prepared in the frozen section lab. He or she can have the slide sent to them, or the sample can be mounted on the microscope in the frozen section lab and be looked at in real time in the pathologist's office. The pathologist is not at the mercy of the person at the other end. Indeed, no one need be there once the stage is loaded. The pathologist can then scan the slide, change magnification, and capture images from their desk. Remote access and control also opens the possibility of long-distance consultation. Here we see a tissue section being remotely scanned using a low-power objective. The slide is mounted on a motorized stage. Depending on configuration, up to six slides can be mounted at once. XY movement can be controlled either by moving the mouse or the navigation pad. Double-clicking the mouse brings the feature that the cursor is on to the center of the field. Focus can be easily adjusted using the wheel mouse. The cursor can be turned into a magnifying glass for precise focusing at lower magnifications or as a simple zoom feature. Once we have found the region of interest, we can increase magnification. As you can see, the condenser moves to the higher aperture top lens position when needed. Now we will take a look at the large image scan feature. A macro image is displayed in the Scan Large Image dialog box. We can indicate where, within the macro image, we want the higher magnification scan to be. Each box represents the field of view of the camera at a given magnification. As you can see, we can easily adjust the size and location of the higher magnification scan. In this case, the macro image displays the field captured by the 1x objective. We will use the 20x for the higher magnification scan. Once we have decided on the area of the large scan, we employ the 20x objective. If needed, we can adjust focus before commencing the scan. Once initiated, we quickly capture and compile the smaller fields into a larger image. The CIE can also be employed as a full slide scanner. One of the goals Nikon achieved when transitioning to Infinity Corrected Optics was the expansion of the magnification range available to the user. The new formula made the manufacture of a 1x lens possible. A 1x lens yields a larger field of view and reduces the number of fields needed to cover an area when compared to the 1.25 or 1.6x lenses available from other manufacturers. Here we are scanning the working area of a 1x3 inch slide in real time. A 3 by 8 field scan will cover the area needed. The time from start to compiling the final image is one minute. The upper and lower borders of the image are the edge of the specimen holder and the slide label. As you can see, the lowest raster is mostly label, so we could eliminate the last row, bringing the total acquisition time to 48 seconds. The Nikon CIE system expands the capabilities of the microscope to meet today's demands and comes in at a price point well below that of dedicated slide scanners. I hope you have enjoyed this brief exploration of the Nikon CIE imaging system. If you would like further information, a quote or demonstration, please send an email to the address you see on the screen. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.